Hello. My name is Dr. Satori and I will be taking care of you today. I'll be your ultrasound specialist. So, Miss Pregnant, please have a seat. How are you feeling? You are glowing. Yes, I know you're obviously early, but you can definitely tell that that baby is giving you a halo. So, you are here for an ultrasound today. Um, are you curious to find out the baby's gender, or would you like it to be a surprise? Okay, yeah, definitely. Um, we'll just look, and maybe you can tell by yourself on the screen, or, you know, whatever. But, uh, not my call. <laughs> I'm going to be checking your chart here. I think you are my last patient of the day, so we can take all the time we need. It's been a very, very busy work day. Okay, so what is your name? Okay, so basically what I'm going to do first is just take a sharpie. I'm just going to check off some general information and then I'm going to fill in some information with a pencil. Okay, so let's confirm a couple things on your chart. How long do you think you've been pregnant for? Um, did you use birth control? Do you know how you became pregnant? Was it getting off birth control? Surprise? Anything like that? That's the best way. <laughs> Most common way. Let's see. Are you on any medications I should be aware of? Prenatals. Okay. And do you take that once or twice a day? Some, they have them in the daytime, other days... Um, you can take them three times a day, once a day, twice a day. It all depends on the brand or what has been prescribed by your doctor. Mm -hmm. My first pregnancy, um, I took doctor prescribed pills and my second pregnancy, I was recommended a drugstore brand. So it all kind of varies on how, you know, is this your first pregnancy? Okay. Yeah, to be honest, you look a little bit nervous. Why is that? Excuse my stomach, I haven't eaten yet. Aw, oh, sweetie, you have nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing, I promise. You look very generally overall healthy. Um, your chart here. Blood works normal. Physical exam is normal down there and on the stomach. I'm going to be pressing on your stomach as well, so just go ahead and sit back and relax. But yeah, ultimately, you are in great health. Nothing to worry about. And even pregnancy complications, you know, they vary and they can be treated. It is very rare, although, you know, it happens that, you know, a person would miscarriage from an underlying issue that nobody, you know, could be able to find everything in a pregnancy. You know, people have been doing it for hundreds and thousands and millions or whatever years. Um, modern medicine is very, very, very up to date. So, to be honest, I feel like you have nothing to worry about. Go ahead and calm your little head. Probably the hormones. But I'm here for you and the whole staff is. And comes to my next question and almost last. Do you have a good support system at all? Can you verify your emergency contact? Okay. So it does show empty as to what you are measuring right now. So we are going to do a quick measure of the stomach. Oh, please forgive if I have a list. My mouth is very dry and I had dental work a couple weeks ago. It's creating a lot of uh, space in between the gums, so kind of have a little lisp, lisp, lisp. 
Can you hear it? Lisp, 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 lisp. I don't know. Maybe me, may not be. Okay. So, I'm just gonna put your chart over here, sweetie. Alright, so do you mind that I touch you? Um, I do want to touch you without gloves at first. Um, I want you to get used to my warm hands. I'd love to fill your stomach, but again, people, you know, certain women get very uncomfortable uh, with other, even their doctor touching their stomach, and I completely respect your decision. But I must say that, you know, the ultrasound, I don't have to physically touch you, but I do have to touch you with a tool, so. What do you say? Thank you. I really appreciate your permission here. Um, when I was pregnant, ugh, I felt towards the end, I was like, might as well just send in the herd because <laughs> I've been touched way too many times throughout these pregnancies. <laughs> you become like a lab rat and I don't want you to feel that way. I want you to know that your feelings are valid and your thoughts and concerns are valid as well. So you have nothing to worry about. Okay, so basically if you would, I need you to stand up for me. <laughs> Go ahead. And I just have a little dollar store measure. We are going to measure your stomach. And you are about 16 to 20 weeks, correct? Oh, really? I'm going to put that down here. Yeah, it's definitely not rare. Finding out the uh, gender of the child, the baby definitely depends. Usually it's 16 to 20 weeks, but we've had cases as early as 12 weeks um, be able to show the gender or just the sex of the baby. Sorry. Okay. Alright, so I'm just gonna mark down here. I have a little planner going on here. You are... weeks. So, yeah, ultimately, as you said you didn't want to know anyway, but we probably definitely could find out. We're gonna go back through here in a moment, actually, as soon as I get your stomach. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this around you and then just get a measurement right at the point of the belly button, okay? All right, so you don't mind that I touch you or get close to you? Okay, I'm just gonna press gently on your stomach at first. You go ahead and just relax, sit back. Well, stand back just very quickly. Okay. You feel very healthy. And I know hearing that doesn't really give you reassurance. Um, I'm the type of person who's like, I need a brain scan. <laughs> I'm depressed, so my brain needs scan. I'm gonna pay thousands of dollars my insurance doesn't cover. It's completely normal. I understand an ultrasound. Um, it definitely helps when you see what's going on compared to a doctor telling you, oh, I can feel you. Plus, I'm not a doctor. I am actually a specialist, so, well, I do ultrasound specialing here, and then I'm actually a medical doctor at the other clinic, the sleep clinic, so I am actually Dr. Karina Satori, but I am also your ultrasound specialist. All right, enough talking. Wrap that around you here. Okay. okay, you are measuring. About 42 inches. So. That is really, really healthy. Judging by your height and weight, let me actually get your chart back here. Okay, and can you verify your height and weight? It's on the chart, but go ahead. Ooh, so you've gained a couple pounds. That's good. That's very, very good. Don't be discouraged. Yes, a person can gain, um, a lot of weight during pregnancy, and some of that can be unhealthy. It could cause gestational diabetes, but like I said, your blood work has been very recent, and you are doing great. Actually, excuse me, it's actually good that you gained a few pounds. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. 
So I am going to just get a heartbeat, which actually, I don't need your chart anymore. I need your baby's chart, which is in the planner. Yes, we just started um, writing things down here instead of entering them in the computer I have here. And that is just because um, around this area, it's a little bit harder to get funding from the government to support um, more storage in the computers and things like that. And, you know, we are a government-run clinic, so that kind of is their job. Just, just saying. Okay. Okay, so, let's listen to the baby's heartbeat. Would you like to hear as well? Yeah? Okay, so, what I'm gonna do, let me just check very quickly. Don't mind my facial expressions. If I look concerned, I will immediately tell you. I promise I won't keep you nervous or anything like that. So, you are completely okay, all right? Just don't watch me. I get really weird. I'm like, hmm. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, is my baby okay? And I'm like, yes, I'm sorry. All right, you ready? I'm just gonna put this on your little tummy here. Go ahead. Let me clean these off. Okay, you ready? Nice and sanitized for you, nothing to worry about. All right. Okay. You ready? I say that one more time, you'll probably leave. <laughs> All right. <laughs> very, very beautiful. This is now this couldn't be your first time. You'd have to get it at eight weeks. Yeah. Very, very healthy heartbeat. Not too fast, not too slow. Write this down here. All right, so, and then last but not least, I just need a quick temperature from you. And we will get right into the ultrasound, okay? So I just have a little CBS type thermometer. I'm gonna do a quick oral. Yeah, oral is always the best way with temperature for a pregnant woman. Sometimes they do it rectally, and I feel like that is an extremely uncomfortable way of checking somebody's temperature when they're pregnant. Trust me, you'll find out in the later weeks. Make sure you drink your water and stay hydrated, because that baby is drinking everything that you have inside of you. Everything. Go ahead and open your tongue up for me. Yeah, we switch these every time, nothing to be. Okay, go ahead. Okay, 98.3. Perfect. I'm just gonna put this under your baby's chart, then at the end I will. Everything over. Brilliant. All right. So, my dearest of dears, are you ready for your ultrasound? Yeah? 
Okay, so let me grab the transducer wherever I put it. Over here. Put my stethoscope over there. Okay, I have the transducer here. And transducer, transducer. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato, potato, tomato. You get it. Okay, I'm just gonna connect it over here into the laptop. I have some coffee for here. Okay. Brilliant. So, excuse me, this is your first time getting an ultrasound. Well, this is what is called a transducer, and what it does is it sends high frequency sound waves um, that we as humans can't hear, and your baby can't hear, even though it's just a little cyborg, it's completely okay. Um, it's gonna send extremely sensitive, high-frequency sound waves, and it's gonna reflect off your belly, and give me here a picture of what's going on in there. So, I'm going to apply an ointment that I have here. Usually it's blue, but um, recently we changed it to a clear gel because you know, patients were leaving, and we were getting callbacks that <laughs> they would have, like, sticky blue stuff all over them, and people were questioning them. And then I said, well, this leaves a clear, sticky, crusty-looking solution, so what do you think people are gonna say then? But, no worries, we wipe you down. You'll be 100% okay. Speaking of which, while this happens, I'm just gonna have you sit back and relax. I'm gonna open the computer here, and I'm going to go grab the wipes, and then we will begin, because I definitely need to get that solution off you once we put it on. You stay there, one second. Make sure you get yourself comfortable. It's going to be nothing to worry about, okay? Right here. Brilliant. Alright, so... Let me... oh, there it goes. Okay. Alright, so when I put this in... Let me actually get this ready before I hit enter. So I am just going to put this right on your belly, okay? Actually, we usually put it on the tip of here, but we're going to start on your belly. Okay. Get this wiped off over here. All right, put this here. I'm going to get gloves on. Alright, my dear, are you ready for, are you ready to meet your baby for the very first time? I'm very excited. Caps lock on. Put this down. Alright, let me hit play to start the monitor. It's on, it's just frozen. Ready? Okay, here we go. Oh. Wow. Look at you. Oh. 
Can you see them moving around in there? <laughs> that is so sweet. Just a little thing. Definitely. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm pinpointing certain pieces of the child. It's the head. This right here is just showing to the heart rate, 147 beat per minute, which is excellent. See? It's the heart. Okay. All right, here we are. You can see the baby's spine right there. See them? Oh, they're trying to, you feel a move? Can I touch your stomach? Let's make sure everything's okay. okay. There's the lips, the nose. Wow, well, baby's active. They look pretty annoyed. <laughs> I don't blame them. I'm rubbing around on their mommy's belly. I said, what's going on here? You can see the head, see? Taking a breath of the amniotic fluid. Oh, little baby. So I did see the sex. Um, oh, baby's disappearing. No, we're just moving around. Okay, so there's the legs. Nice and tucked. You can see the belly producing well. Everything's going great so far. There's a little butt right here. Little legs tucked up, like I said. Yep, baby's moving around. He's having a rest. They, he, she. Okay. So we're just making sure everything else, brain, looks very, very good. Definitely no worries. All right. Yep, the skull formation is good. the heartbeat a little bit through. All right. Okay. Pinpointing the head right here on the computer. So I'm getting a measurement of the skull here. It's that easy. How are you feeling? Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, getting measurements here of the arm. Okay, and that is about it. Okay, so we are finished. Sorry, I had to end that abruptly. <laughs> um. If I didn't, the computer would start making loud beeps, and we're trying to make this as relaxing as possible, so please forgive me on that. But let me get these gloves off. You can pick up your ultrasound pictures um, right out front. They're being printed right now. I'm just going to take down some information. But let's get you cleaned up first. Okay.
Okay. You wipe your tummy up here, okay? How are you feeling? I know I keep asking, but I just want to make sure that you're feeling okay and that you know that baby and you are both very, very healthy and everything is going as planned, okay? I actually have something for you that I think would benefit a lot because of your anxiety. Okay, just... Okay, cleaned up. Alright, so... First, let me take down some of baby's information. Memorize that baby had 148 beat per Skull measured. Ooh. At good. Okay. Arms both equal in length. Whew, I'm not good with the sled. Okay. Legs equal in length. Sex was a all right amazing so you my dear are done let me grab what i was going to give you here so i have a few of these in the bag and not every patient of mine needs it but for those coming in here looking like you, which is glowing and beautiful and everything like that, but a little bit anxiety ridden, I'd like to give them this book, which helped me out a lot. I mean, it doesn't include every piece of information when you're, you know, wanting a lot more, knowing what's going on every single day, every moment. At least that's how I was <laughs> with my first. And then whenever I got pregnant with my second, I was like, kid's healthy, it's fine. But, uh, this is the What to Expect When You're Expecting by Heidi Murkoff and Sharon Mazel. I wish they would come out with a newer revised edition with just a little bit more information. Let's see. The first month. You are about your third. Here we go. This month, your uterus is a little bigger than a grapefruit and your waist may start to thicken. By the end of the month, your uterus can be felt right above your pubic bone in the lower abdomen. Physically, you may be feeling fatigue, lack of energy, and sleepiness. Frequent urination, and trust me, it gets worse, I'm sorry to say, but it's worth it. Put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. You will have nausea, with or without vomiting. You may have excess saliva, which I wish I had. Constipation, heartburn, indigestion, flatulence, and bloating. Slight increase in discharge. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and make you feel uncomfortable reading everything, but every single symptom is described right here. Baby's heartbeat, pregnant workers' rights. And it's just, it's a really, really good book, so. Here you go. I'm just gonna sit here and leave this with you, okay? So, my dear, do you have any questions for me? Okay. I really, really hope that I could help. Excuse me, before we go, I wanted to send you off by rubbing some of this cream on your stomach. If you don't mind me asking, I did not mean to say stummy, I meant to say stomach, oh my god. Um, this is the Body Shop's Strawberry Body Butter. 
and it's just good for helping with, you know, stretch marks, stretching, things like that. And also the brand Bio Oil is very helpful. That is everything for me, my dear, and I really wish you the best on your pregnancy. I may or may not see you when you're about 35, almost 40 weeks pregnant, so that may be near your delivery date. So I really, really hope I can see you soon. Um, you're just in the beginning stages now, so enjoy it. Sorry, indigestions. Enjoy it the best that you can. I really need to wet my palate. So, enjoy it the best that you can. Um, it goes by quicker than you think. I used to think the pregnancy would last forever, and I begged my doctor to get the thing out of me. I swear to you, I cried, and I begged, and I kicked, and I screamed in the office and begged for them to take the baby out of me. <laughs> they weren't having it, and they got a little concerned for a minute. Everything ended up okay. And my first um, delivery was amazing. Uh, my second, not so much. Very personal issues, but overall, I have two healthy little kids, a boy and a girl. Very happy, very healthy. Um, you're going to be fine. I promise you, okay? You have nothing to worry about, and the symptoms take them as they come. And if something gets a little bit too much, never feel ashamed to call your doctor. No matter how annoyed they may seem, or anything of that nature. This is your body. This is your child's body, your baby. This is their life. This is yours and their life. Don't ever worry about how someone else feels if you know you can get the help you need just by picking up the phone. So it was very, very nice meeting you, sweetheart, and I wish you the very, very best, okay? All right. You'll be okay. I promise. See you soon.